Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new video and we're back on the old Minecraft and we have been very busy as you can tell by a great big gaping hole next to me. So last episode we built the witch farm and I have actually finished that completely. I've put storage there, like a storage system in and it connected one to the nether. I've also put a little bit of a like my car rail over there as well just because it was like an 800 block tunnel and I it was taking a while to walk it so it takes half the time now so it's not as fast because I haven't got any packed dice and I'm running quite low well I was running low on stone at the time until I started doing this but yeah I've been very busy and as you have I've got the first layer built just so I knew where everything was going and also got the bits at the side sorted just so I knew I was building this right. So I didn't go all the way down to the bottom then realise I've built it wrong. So it's for build one layer, at least I'm at the halfway point of terms of digging this line for chunk itself. And I know I have messed up, so So we've got a bunch of oh, we've got so many materials here. I've got it all ready for when we dig out. Well, for when we need to get this all built. Got a stone cutter in case I need more. But I'm just running stuff back to the base so I don't, don't have like 10 double chests worth of stone all here. To be honest, I'm not actually picking up most of the stuff. I'm just letting it despawn because otherwise I'll just fill up my, my storage room. So, there we go. So as you can see, we've got some snow golems in. And yeah, that's looking, it's looking good. So obviously then the slimes will attract over here and then I fall down where I haven't quite dug out yet. And eventually they'll hit some mega blocks. So what I'm gonna do now is start digging out some more of this and I'll go back to you once I've done that. And there we go, so that is the second layer all done. And I've also put in the snow golems just to make it easier. It's just easier for us to just build it as I go down. So otherwise I'm going to have to dig up the entire thing, then rebuild it, and it'll just be a ball lake. So, so that's layer number two all done. Six more to go, so I'm going to keep going. So that is layers three and four all in. We are absolutely smashing this out today, so that is all good. I'm now going to, we're at the halfway point. So I'm just going to push my way through to the very end. Okay, so I've now dug out the entire farm. Got all marked out stone bricks and also built sort of like where the minecart rails are going to go. Sort of the base of the minecart rails. And I've got a confession to make. I haven't done all this today. I've spent the entire last week building all of this. Yeah, I, I, I've had a little bit of free time before work so I've just been digging out this chunk and yeah because last week I built I, I'm recording this a few days after the witch farm so I stayed AFK at the witch farm for a shift when I was at work once and I think it froze I didn't get as much as I could have got but I got some drops got like 14 stacks of redstone which could be better but could be worse so so I was like I was gonna build the slime farm last week but that remembered that I need a bunch of redstone so so yeah I thought I'd build the redstone the witch farm first to get redstone easier without having to go mining and then I could build the slime farm Ooh. and then I was like okay then whilst I was doing that I was also built, digging up the slime farm and it was just it's a crazy time. I think I built the witch farm on a Thursday, I think. No, it might have been on Monday as well, on a Tuesday. Because I think I recorded on the Monday, and then I recorded the next day on the Tuesday, because I had it off. So I built the witch farm on the Tuesday. And I was like, okay. And then finished it off on the Wednesday, and then AFK on the Thursday. So I've had pretty much all of last week to dig this out. So it was quite nice. So I'm just like, I've been at work pretty much all week. Like mainly evenings, so I'm a bit, I'm a little bit half asleep, 
like today's the first day off since last Tuesday. But luckily after today, I've only got two more shifts and then I'm off for a week and a half. And a week of that's holiday. The, like, the first three days, just... Luck would have it, I managed to get three days off altogether. So I was like, thank the Lord. At least then I can relax a little bit before I go to Legoland and all that, so... But yeah, I'm going to grab a bunch of my minecart rails and I'm just going to start chucking them in because I'm going to need to so just grab a bunch of this. Half this I don't actually need right now. I think I need that. Maybe some of them. Some of them. That. 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 Maybe them. Them for sure. Definitely them. 100% them. I know I had ladders here. <laughs> I forgot I had ladders here. Uh, what else do I need? I, I think all of this stays down here, to be honest. But I'll take the water bucket. I think this is literally all I need down there. Then the rest of this is just up there. I'll take some glass, because I'm building the elevator out of that. But yeah, I'm going to make a start on the minecart rails. And I'll go back to you once I've done that. Oh, that was close. Okay, so I've done a little bit of work on the slime farm and I've gotten the power, not the powder, I've got all the minecart rails in as well as all of the magma blocks in. So, I see I've got this side in. I've dug out a bit of a room back here as well just to make it a little bit easier and more accessible. As you can see, I've got done this side as well. And I'm going to have some minecart unloaders around here, on each one on each side, which is then going to connect to a dropper which then shoot the items up. I was thought if I do a room I can then put some slabs in here to make it spawn proof for all mobs including slime but as thought if I have a room it makes it easier so if one breaks or I can make it into one it makes it a lot easier. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a start on building the actual slime well the minecart collection systems. Once I've got that uh, I can't talk and once I've done them I'll get back to you. Okay guys so I've been a little bit busy and I've dug well I've built the minecart unloaders they're all built so it's just a comparator I've just got them stopped at the moment just so the power the minecart hoppers don't keep going off so just put some stuff I don't need in there anymore so then the comparator goes into the block which then powers this, which then powers this, which also turns on the minecart track, the rail. Obviously if something's in this hopper, it powers this, which then turns this off, which turns the whole thing off. And the same over there. I've got some iron blocks here because this is going to be how I turn the, the collection system on and off. I'll have emerald blocks power it all up, which is just so I know when I get over here, that this is to turn it all off and the the rest of them made up of emeralds, because I've got more emeralds than iron, but also they're not as useful to me. I've also come down here and dug out a little bit of an area down here, which will be my item elevator. So I'm just going to come down here and quickly just build this. It means I can just get that all sorted, get that all built. And there we go. That is all done now. And all I've got to do is come this way and actually just there's not much I need to do to be honest. So I can actually test this by doing that. I know I've done wrong. I need to go like this. There we go. Something easy. There's something so small but I've now fixed it so I can see that's now given me 24. And in time I would, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually the item elevator, but right now, I'm just gonna fill all this in. What I do need to do is actually start filling in all this as well. So I'm gonna get all this sorted and get the item elevator sorted. I better get back to you once I've done that. Okay guys, so I'm now back on the surface and I've built the item elevator as you can see from 
all the way down there. It is big. Well, it's a big tunnel. I've covered it all in glass. So again, when I do come to dig this into, when I do come to like spawn proof this area, because I'm digging out a massive 40 block radius around the entire slime farm to make sure nothing spawns and I slab it all. So when I do get to doing that, the glass and the stone bricks will tell me that don't break that block. Like I'll be able to see the item elevator. I'll be able to see that maybe there's some redstone on there. And yeah, I'm like, that's not a slime farm itself. So it'll just tell me not to do that. And another thing I've done is I've also marked out where the room's going itself. So this could be where the AFK spot's gonna be. It's gonna be down to like level 24 or something like that. This is the size of the room. That's where the chest is going. That's where the hopper line hoppers will go. So I've just marked it all out just to make sure I got it all right. So I can just chuck in a bunch of hoppers here. Because they're all gonna be like this anyway, because it's just one item. So it's not like an item sorter where you know I have to swap everything. Makes it quite easy. So obviously, I'm gonna have a crafter in here as well. So it's gonna make all the slime balls into slime blocks. So in really, it shouldn't cause too many issues. Just because if I somehow use up fifty, if I somehow fill fifteen double chests. With slime, with slime blocks, then I've got enough slime blocks. Like, then that's a sign I maybe shouldn't AFK here for a while. <laughs> because I don't even AFK in here once for eight hours, I'll have enough for a lifetime. So that'll be fine. So I've gone for a bit of a controversial design on this. So I've literally gone for packed mud across the board and then tough brick the walls that's why i wanted to try stuff in new because i've not really built with mud since the since it came out i've not really get, got anything for tough bricks so i just thought you know what let's let's i can make something work out of this until they do work to be honest like both of these do kind of work together strangely there we go i think that's a camel i want to say i hope that was a camel I think I've got another stack, luckily, because I knew I'd need more. And this took me a while to get all this mud, because obviously I had to turn it all from like, dirt to mud, and then turn it into packed mud. And it was just... It was just fun. It was just like very fun to get. But yeah, so what I need to do now is I just need to put in a door. Got glass panes at the top, and I'm just gonna smash out this build. Let's just smash out the room, and I'll get back to you once it's all done. Why do you so I've made a massive? I've lost my train of thought. I've made a lot of progress. There we go, on the room. So, what? Well, it's done. So I've brought the chests in, the hoppers are in. I've built the AFK section and decorated it with tough blocks all the way down. Just so when I do come to build, digging it all out. I know where I'm going, it makes it a little bit easier. I've got all the roof done. I've got the back of the here done. The only thing I need to do now is literally link up the hopper line with this, which I could do now. So if I do like that, I need to bring it up this way. So I'm actually gonna bring it across like this. And then like that, and then like, this. Have I got any glass on me? I do not. I have to go and get a bunch of tough blocks again. So let's get, just grab three stacks. I don't need three stacks, but there we go. Do that, do that, do that. There we go. And I need to get more water because I need to actually get. I need to actually finish this hopper line. So I'll finish this hopper line, get the crafter in, and I'm gonna link it all up and go back to you once I've done that. Okay guys, so I was recording this video, but then I ran out of storage on my computer, which I need to sort out properly at some point. 
because I think I've got too many apps on my thing I need to get rid of. But Hopper Line is well, the collection system's ninety nine point sorry, ninety nine point nine percent connected. It's just two hoppers I need to connect up on each of them. Well, one hopper on each of the minecart collection systems just to stop the minecarts keep going back and forth. That's literally what I've done. And the hopper line is all in, the craft is all in, chest is done, AFK area is all done. We are looking very good. So the last thing I need to do is I need to take a redstone line from here all the way down to the minecarts just so I can then turn them on and off from here. It may not update from here, but by the time I get down to level 24, it would have updated. So, yes, hopefully this all works. But I'm gonna try and smash all this out and get back to you once I've done that. Okay, so I've now finished the slime farm. The slime farm is now done. Like I've put in the rest of the magma blocks, gotten rid of the ladders, and I'm now just going on top of it and placing in a layer of glass just to make it so I don't fall in because I know what I'm like but I've also got to build it quite I've got to build out a bit of the ground as well so that's going to be fun which I haven't actually got any of my materials over here for so I'm like oh no but yeah I'm, I'm happy with how this turned out like I'm glad I've done it the way I did it because it's taken me two hours just to do what I've done today and it took me about five six hours to get everything I need to get done previously so this would have been a whole day job so I'm glad I worked on that over the weekend because otherwise it would have been you know a lot like all like, the redstone I've done in one sitting I'm just I haven't had like lunch I've been so busy today it's 4 p.m all I've done is housework and record this I've not even brushed my teeth. Like, I want to brush my teeth. But I've been so busy today, I've not had time to. Like, I was going to have a shower today. But that's sort of gone out the window. I need to have a shower as well. That's also going out. Well, I'll do that in a bit. I'll probably do it once this video is like, once I've edited it, to be honest. I'll get it all done today. And then it's just done. And then tomorrow, I'm going to start the process of digging out everything not the 40 block radius around this entire farm it's going to be big it's not going to be like you're not going to be able to see it from here because I'm doing it underground I'm doing it from like level 40 onwards like 42 so it's not going to be you know that visible to be honest you won't see it from beneath the surface well from, from the surface but if you had to go mining You'd see a massive gaping hole in the ground, and that's going to be me. So, and I've got to get a bunch of slabs together, and that's going to be fun. Oh, that's perfect. I literally had the perfect amount there. Have I got any dirt or anything I can use? I have some. There you go, that's, that's a start. At least I can go around a few blocks make it look a little bit better than what it does currently there we go so I need to fill in all of this there we go and then fill in this bit and then just pre up the landscape a little bit boom 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 there we go it's not the best but we got there it's better than what it was at least it's now a flat surface and I do need to you know, dig out a little bit of the border for stone bricks. But I'll do that another time. Because right now, I'm going to take a breather. I'm going to take a bit of a breather and end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave that a thumbs up. And I'll see you all next time. See ya.